Elsewhere around the world, the Parliament of Japan was dissolved to make way for a general election. The vote at the end of October will be Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's first major test since winning the ruling party's leadership last month. Kim Dami provides a glimpse of what to expect. The lower house of Japan's parliament was dissolved on Thursday, paving the way for a national election on October 31st. I hereby dissolve the lower house according to Article 7 of the Japanese Constitution. The last lower house election took place four years ago in 2017 under former PM Shinzo Abe. Thursday's dissolution of parliament came just 10 days after Fumio Gishida was officially appointed Japan's 100th prime minister. Gishida is pushing for what he calls a new capitalism, pledging massive fiscal and monetary support to revive the world's third largest economy. Before the end of the year, I will put together a stimulus package worth tens of trillions of yen to create an atmosphere in which a large number of the Japanese people would want to support us. Gishida's election pledges also include boosting Tokyo's COVID-19 response, such as offering free vaccine booster shots as soon as December. Experts say it'll be crucial for the new PM to secure a majority for his Liberal Democratic Party to solidify his leadership. The question will be how many seats Kishida can secure for the LDP. He will aim for a majority. But she says the polls will not be a game changer in terms of future hard Tokyo relations. The policy chief of the ruling LDP, Sanai Takaichi, has voiced support for policies strongly opposed by Seoul, such as raising defense spending and promoting territorial claims. So it's highly likely that ties between South Korea and Japan will stay the same. Japanese media reports have suggested that the ruling Liberal Democratic Party, led by Gishida, hopes to take advantage of their recent nationwide decline in coronavirus cases to drum up support. Kim Dami, Arirang News.